This is where we take our annotated sketches of the ground plan and elevations and draw them up. I'm going to do that in DraftSite, a free CAD package. CAD's a precision drawing environment and can be daunting for the beginner and not particularly intuitive, but this video only uses a few commands and functions, and if you can learn to use them you should be able to produce more complex drawings. In CAD you usually draw at a scale of 1 to 1, so this drawing is set up with meters as the unit setting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the length of one of the walls. I just turn on the polar snap there so it runs straight up and down the page. And that's 2.52 meters long. I'm now going to use the circle tool. Click it on the end of that line and we're going to have a radius of 4.85 meters and then a circle from the other end which is 2.77 meters and where the two lines cross that's where our peg is so click on that end of the line join it to that point there and to that point there and I can now delete the two circles that I've drawn and I'll go back to circle again and I'm going to do the circles that mark the next peg so 5.34 meters there and then from this other end 3.27 meters again I'll use the line tool just to join that all together and next I can delete the circles again So you might want to just check that measurement using the get distance command. Click both ends of the line and that's come out at 6 meters 68 which is the correct length. So now I'm going to uh, mark in the position of another peg a radius of 6.89 meters there and the next one is 8.33 meters so where it crosses again that's where there's a peg so we can join the end of the wall to the peg like so and delete the circles again So I do another pair of circles, 6.89 meters, three point eight nine meters, and then again we can just join everything together and delete the circles and then draw the lines between the two points and continue doing that until the whole of the network of triangles is completed next thing what I'm going to do is add another layer to the drawing which I'm going to call drawing now I'm going to keep that one white I'm going to change this one to a different colour what we've done so far is provide a framework so now in the layer called drawing we're actually going to draw the walls in just by clicking on top of our existing drawing When it comes to adding the wall thickness, what we can do is use the offset tool. So select the line that you want to offset. Specify the width of the wall, which is in this case 0 0.345. And then just click that side where you want the parallel line to appear. And you can do that right around the building now. Um, you may find that you get overlapping lines like this in your corners. 
and you can simply use the trim tool to cut away the bits that you don't want. So click on the trim tool, then select the line that you want to use as a cutting edge, click on the segment you want to remove and it's as simple as that. And when that's all done you can turn off the layer that has the triangles in it and you'll see there your finished ground plan. So once your plan's finished you can set up some new guides to help you draw the elevations. So let's go turn the polar snap on there. That's it like that. So there's two lines setting out the extent of the building there. Another one up to there. And what I can do now is I can just set out a line horizontally like that and that will represent the uh, datum line that we put across the wall to take measurements. So now it's just a case of drawing lines up and down from that horizontal line using the measurements that we collected on site. Rather like that. I'm now going to show you how to add detail to the elevation using a photograph that's been rectified in GIMP. Okay, to bring an image into the drawing we use insert reference image. We choose the photograph. Make sure you check the insertion point and scale later boxes. Click OK and then click on the screen and drag out to insert the photograph. Now we need to scale it. So first of all we need to select it. Then we need to specify a base point. I'm going to use that edge to the wall there. Then it wants to, it asks us if we want to specify a scale factor or reference. We're going to type R because we're going to use a reference. So then we click on the wall, pull the line out, click on another point we know, and put in the real world value 3.09 meters. And that's the photograph now at the correct scale, at a scale of one to one. So we just make sure that it's going to be sent to the back of the drawings so that when we move it it will be behind the section that we've already drawn. So we're going to move it so we specify the photograph to start with and then we have to pick a point on the photograph so the junction of the, the wall and the roof there. Click the same point on the section we've already drawn and there you are, you can see that the photograph is now underneath the drawing. So now I'm just going to simply use the line tool to draw where the bricks are missing. And I've turned the polar snap on here so that all of the corners are at 90 degrees. So there we are up to the roof. I'll come into the side now. And if I zoom out and then get rid of the photograph completely, and there you can see the completed elevation. CAD's not the place to make pretty pictures, and so the drawing's been printed as an SVG file and then annotated in Inkscape ready to add to the site report. This is where you combine your drawn and photographic record with a written record that sets out where the site is, why you recorded it, and how you recorded it, along with a description of the building as it is now, with a note of its construction materials and any detail that suggests its past form or function. You should also set out what documentary evidence you've found that has helped you in your interpretation. This may be as simple as ordnance survey maps that show the building on one edition, but not on another. Finally, you can present your interpretation. Once your report's finalised, 
don't forget to make it available to others by depositing a copy in your local HER.